Leaders of South Korea and Russia reached a historic agreement during their summit talks Wednesday on plans that will see Seoul included in a joint railway project between Russia and North Korea. Could this development lay the seeds for a new, brighter era for inter-Korean economic relations? Our presidential correspondent Oh Jin-ju reports. A South Korean consortium comprising CoRail, POSCO and Hyundai Merchant Marine is seeking to invest around $196 million in the Rajan Hassan Railway project, or roughly half of Russia's 70 percent share in the project. A decision is yet to be made on whether the South Korean companies will actually join the project, but if they do, government officials and experts say the project could represent a way out for stalled inter-Korean economic cooperation. Economic cooperation between the two Koreas has come to standstill, with the exception of the inter-Korean Kaesong Industrial Complex, after the South Korean government imposed sanctions on the North in 2010. The so-called May 24th sanctions ban most trade and investment with the North following Pyongyang's attack on a South Korean warship. Analysts say the company's participation in the railway project could represent an opportunity for South Korea to initiate trilateral projects with North Korea through a third country and still be within the boundaries of the May 24th sanctions. South Korea would not directly invest in North Korea, but would participate in projects that the communist state is carrying out with other countries, such as Russia and China, to boost infrastructure development. That means Pyongyang's direct business partner would be the third country, not South Korea, reducing the risks and losses Seoul has had to bear in its joint business projects with the North because of its unexpected behavior in the past. But experts have also expressed some skepticism about a scenario such as this. If North Korea were to stick to its nuclear program without demonstrating any change in attitude, neighboring countries could be reluctant to join South Korea in providing economic support to the country in any form. Oh Jin-ju, Arirang News.